Sabbath after finding items from the Navy over the past two days, the Indonesian Navy declared it had sunk and cracked open, killing 53 crew members aboard. The presence of the slick oil as well as of the waste in the site of the last dive on Wednesday outside Bali is clear evidence that the KRI Nanggala 402 had sunk. The military chief, Hadi Jajanto said. The vessel was previously considered only missing by Indonesia. Yudo Margano Navy chief told a Bali press conference, it's going to be in pieces, if it's an explosion. The cracks gradually occurred in some parts of the route from to 400 meters to 500 meters. The sonar would be heard if there was an explosion. The Navy has previously stated that the submarine has declined at a depth of 600 to 700 meters, which is far higher than its depth of collapse of 200 meters, at which point the pressure on the water is higher than that which can be withstanding. This was still uncertain about the disappearance. The Marine had previously stated that an electrical failure could not have allowed the submarine to resurface in an emergency. Margano said that the searchers had found parts of a torpedo straightener, a grease flask, the debris of prayer rugs and a fractured piece of a coolant pipe repaired on the South Korean submarines in 2012, in the last two days. The flask was repaired by Margano. We have now gone from the sub-miss phase to the sub-sunk phase, with genuine evidence that we have found from the underwater, says Margano at a media conference, during which the find items were shown. Margano said the results will be evaluated by rescue teams in Indonesia and other countries. No bodies were found so far, he said. Officials said the oxygen supply of the submarine would have been terminated at the beginning of Saturday. The P-8 Poseidon, a U.S. reconnaissance plane, landed early on Saturday and was searched for along with 20 Indonesian ships, an Australian Warsaw sonar fitted, and four Indonesian aircraft. The officials said earlier in Saturday that Singaporean rescue vessels had been expected to come Sunday and strengthen the submarine hunt. Family members had hoped for survivors, but there was nothing to show that the ship was alive. President Joko Widodo from Indonesia ordered a full effort to find the submarine and requested that Indonesians pray for a safe return to the crew. Since 1981, KRI Nanggala, the German-built diesel engine, has been in service in Indonesia and was carrying 49 crew and three gunners, and its commander. Indonesia has faced increasing challenges to maritime claims in recent years, including several incidents involving Chinese ships near natural islands, with the most significant archipelago nation in the world with more than 17,000 islands.